right, in this video, I'm going to walk through the rules about hiring your children um, in a business that you own. You know, there's a lot of videos out there on TikTok, on Instagram, elsewhere that talk about, you know, these benefits. And it's true, you do get a, you know, there is a tax advantage of hiring your children, but there's rules that you got to follow. And I just want to make sure we kind of cover those in this video. And then afterwards, I'm going to walk through a live example of a tax return, kind of showing you the role, the kind of the flow of these benefits. So you own a business and the advantage of owning a business is you get to hire your children. So, you know, some of the benefits here are there's no FICA. If your child's under 18, you get to deduct the amount that you pay your child. So just say you pay them $9,000, right? That's a deduction to your business. So that reduces your profit of the business and it reduces, you know, so when you have reduced profit, that's less tax you pay. And the standard deduction in 2022 is 12,950 for single. So if you pay your child under that amount, and I'll show you this in the example, there's no tax, they're gonna have to pay your child when they file their tax return. So, you know, this money that, you know, your child's going to get, you can use it for various things. You, know, you can use it to pay for their, you know, schools, right? You can set up a 529 plan. Now that your child has earned income, they can kind of set up a Roth plan. Um, and I think what's most important is you're teaching your child about, you know, A, running a business and, you know, teaching them about investments, right? So now, you know, they're young, they're getting money, but they also see how you work in your business. And that's a, you know, a skill set, right? So they'll be able to see what it takes to kind of run a business. And, um, and then, you know, if you invest that money into a retirement plan, like a Roth, you'll be able to show them every month, every year. All right. You know, by putting X amount of money into this account, you'll watch it kind of grow. Now the rules. So there was a court case back in, I think it was like 1977, 1976, um, on this issue. And, um, you know, the, the child, you know, the company, you know, the business owner that hired their child, um, the age was seven years. So there's court rulings that support hiring someone, you know, your child that's seven years of age and older. So there's a lot of you know news out there about you know hiring someone that's younger if your child's you know three and use them as a model you know in, in Instagram photos and stuff there isn't any court ruling to support that so that's the I guess one disadvantage if you're going to go down that route is there's nothing to kind of support that there is you know court cases you know IRS you know law out there that supports hiring your child if they're seven years of age and older. You should have like a written job description for what your child is going to be doing for your company. Um, and you want to pay them a reasonable wage. So just say you hire your child, they're 12 years old, they're into coding or they're into website design work. Um, if you were to hire someone to do the same work, just say it's $50 an hour and that person's a professional, you may want to you know pay your child maybe $30 an hour or so. So you got it. You want to match it up to what the market rate is. So you don't want to pay them, you know, $500 an hour doing something that a professional in the real world is only getting paid on average $50 an hour. Um, you want to set up, make sure you have your child's bank account is all set up. And when you pay them, the money should go directly into their bank account. It shouldn't go into your own personal bank account if you're the owner of the business. And then obviously at the end of the year, your company has to issue your child a W-2. And at the, you know, the, the number one rule is you want to make sure that the work that your child's doing relates to your business. So if they're doing chores around the house and you're paying them from your business account, that's not going to count. So let's, let's walk through an example here um, on a tax return. So, uh, you know, the, the Ferris Sloan example that you've seen in other, um, in other videos. So Ferris owns a business, right? A consulting business. So right now, let's start out with, um, so, you know, him and his wife, they're married and his tax liability at the end of the year is 14,341, right? 
Well, he decides to hire one of his children, Cameron, to kind of help work in the business. And he's going to pay Cameron um, about $9,000, okay? And so in, 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 in Ferris's example here, he owns a single member LLC. So it's a Schedule C that he files on his personal return. Um, so we're going to go down and we're going to add $9,000 worth of wages here, right? So, because he can deduct that, right? So that's a deduction, even though he's paying his son, that's still a deduction to the business. So that's like benefit number one. Um, now we're going to recalculate the return. So remember, he owed about $14,000, right? So let's go back to page one here. And now his tax liability to the IRS is 11143 So he saved about $3,000. Now, again, it's cash going out the door uh, from his business, but he reduces his personal tax liability because the profit of his business, and we'll go to his profit loss of the business here. So his profit decreased by $9,000. So his profit now is 40000 before that, it was 49,000. So he had to pay tax on 49,000. Now he paid Cameron nine. So now his tax, you know, the profit that is subject to tax is now $40,000, okay? So that's the benefit to Cameron, or to Ferris. Now let's go to Cameron's return. So now Cameron has to file a tax return, right? Because he received income over the minimum amount. And here's his W-2 that, that he receives. Um, from Bueller Consulting. So he receives $9,000, right? And because he's under age 18, there's no FICA. So Social Security, Medicare, he doesn't pay any tax on that. There's no tax withheld, right? So he got $9,000 from Bueller Consulting. That's his only income. So now we go to page one of his personal return. We're gonna report $9,000 of wages, right? Now here's the catch, the standard deduction. Now this is a 2021 tax return. So that, you know, the 2022 tax returns aren't uh, available yet. So the standard deduction for those filing a single return is 12,550, okay? So that's a deduction, right? So that reduces that $9,000 of income he received down to zero. So his taxable income is zero now because he's got this standard deduction. And that's, that's the benefit right there. Now, so when you're paying your children, you wanna make sure you pay them under the standard deduction, right? Because then that's gonna wipe out all their income. Now, Cameron may have other dividend income, other investment income, right? That is, you know, parents set up a while ago. So he might have some of that. I'm not reflecting that here. I'm just kind of showing the wages that he got, that 9,000 and how that's getting wiped out with the standard deduction. And then we go down to page two and he owes zero tax. So now Cameron's got $9,000, he's got earned income, right? So he can set up a Roth IRA, he can put away $6,500, he can use that money you know, to pay for education or have his parents kind of manage that for him. So there's a lot here, there's, it's, it's a nice benefit, but the key here, and I'll go back to that slide of, of the rules, it's seven years of age, you don't wanna kind of you know, our recommendation, you want you don't want to push the limit here. So seven to 18 years of age is a good um, good rule to kind of stick by. And if you're going under that, I'd really kind of make sure you do your research and find support in case if you ever get audited by the IRS and more likely you, you will because the IRS is going to see that a three-year-old is getting paid X amount, um, show us the support behind that. So hopefully this video helps. If you have any questions, leave them in the, um, in, the, in the question box below and feel free to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.